Good afternoon, Vikes. Today is the last Friday of school. We have a story on Miss Whitley's retirement in Sky Zone. I'm Darren. And I'm Morgan, and this is your daily news. Prepare for something amazing. Hey, my sis, what's up? <laughs> Miss Whitley is retiring after this year. Let's go check it out. After 40 years of teaching, Mrs. Whitley has decided to retire. Let's learn about her time at Seaman High. You know, I have to say, uh, going on trips with my FCCLA officers, especially uh, some of the adventures that we went on when we went to small towns or schools we'd never been to before. But in the classroom, it's always exciting when we do projects and there's always funny things that happen along the way. And, uh, humor is always fun. <laughs> After retirement, Mrs. Whitley has some plans for what she would like to do in her free time. I hope to stay involved with FCCLA through the alumni and associates and uh, just being with family. I'm, my grandchildren, a couple of them are going to be kindergarten age and just going into their classrooms and being able to volunteer and just not having to get up so early. <laughs> Over the years, Mrs. Whitley has taught multiple classes. I've taught a variety. I, have, uh, I did a bachelor's survival back when it was legal to do that. Um, I've taught English for seven years, seventh and eighth grade English. I taught psychology when I was at the alternative school. Uh, and so I've, you know, done a variety. So I do human development. I've done all kinds of food classes. I've done teen issues, textile and apparel, clothing one and two, which is advanced sewing, uh, and the exploring teaching classes. And we're bringing back the early childhood, and I did the early childhood when we had it before here. Mrs. Whitley's grandmother inspired her to become a teacher. I was in 4-H, and my grandmother had been a teacher, and she's been a big influence on my life. And um, she was not doing well and she really wanted to know what I wanted to do when I graduated. And I just couldn't decide. So I decided that uh, I, I couldn't decide between two professions. And one of them was uh, going to Votech for training and the other was college to be a teacher. And so um, I said, what I was gonna do is I was gonna take a summer class and see how I liked it. And I liked it, so I decided that that's what I wanted to do was to go to college to be a fax teacher. Mrs. Whitley has been working in the facts department and with FCCLA for many years. If you see her in the halls, make sure to wish her a happy retirement and thank her for her time at Seaman High School. If you are interested in the close-up trip to Washington, D.C., you can still go to room E3 and get more information. Scholar Bowl members, don't forget to sign up for the end of the season party. If you are interested in, in a Topeka Public Library card, stop by the library and fill out a form. Also, while you're in the library, you can check out some books for the summer. The Viking Brew will be closed next week. Genesis Health Club is currently accepting applications for summer employment. Be sure to fill out an application. Turn in your overdue library books. Books not returned will be charged to your PowerSchool account. Viking BP at Hunter's Ridge is again donating two cents on every gallon of gas sold on pumps seven and eight through the end of the year. If you are looking for something to do tonight, head over to Sky Zone for their glow night. Trinity Gomez went out to see all the fun things they had to offer. 
A new business has opened up in Topeka, attracting a wide variety of ages from young kids to adults. It has also employed many teens from the Topeka area, including Addison Bodkin from Shawnee Heights. So for court monitoring, um, we basically have, for the courts, we have main, which is freestyle, where you can do the flips and stuff like that. Um, it's just free jump. And then we have the warrior course. We have two different sizes, the advanced and the regular warrior. Um, we have basketball. We have three different size basketball goals, and you guys can do dunks on there, um, different tricks and stuff. We also offer dodgeball. We have dodgeball here. Um, and then we have a foam zone where you guys can do only front flips in, but all the kids love going in the foam. So, of course, foam is not a need, a necessary. And, and then we offer jousting. Um, we only have uh, two, we have two lengths of joust poles. And then we have the free climb, which is, it's called free climb because it's a rock wall with no harness and you just fall into the foam afterwards. SkyZone's prices vary from the amount of time you jump, $20 for 120 minutes, $17 for 90 minutes, and $13 for 60 minutes. SkyZone's locks are additional $3. The price will also vary for their new edition called Glow. Glow is basically uh, a time on Friday and Saturday nights. Um, Fridays, I think, we'll have the DJ. Uh, it's a time where we'll shut off all the lights, we'll get black lights glowing, um, the music will be different from normal hours, and then basically just you come in, you have fun, and you jump in the dark. If you're ever looking for anything to do, make sure to come out to Sky Zone on Friday and Saturday nights to enjoy the new glow. Make sure to get your waiver signed if you are under 18. Sky Zone will be offering glow night on Friday and Saturday nights. Now over to sports after this quick commercial break. The end of the school year is coming up, so we made sure to give you a little step-by-step -step process on how to go about laptop check-in. Step 1. Organize desktop materials. Step 2. Clean your device. Step 3. Back up your device. Step 4. Remove all personal items. Step 5. Bring Charger to check-in. And last but not least, step number 6. Have your laptop fully charged. So your laptop check-in will be from May 22nd through May 24th. The end of the year is coming, so if you want to get out of here, you got to do a few things first. First, be sure to turn in your laptop. Seniors turn in their laptops between May 15th and 17th, and everyone else turns in their laptops between May 22nd and 24th. Second, be sure to turn in all of your library books and pay all your fees for lost, stolen, or damaged books. And last, but certainly not least, be sure to clean out your lockers. After that's all done, you're ready to do nothing all summer. Strength and conditioning forms are available in Ms. Schaefer's room W6 for everyone except football players who want to work out over the summer. Track regionals are today at Shawnee Heights. Field events begin at 3.30 and running events at 4.30. Good luck to all competitors. Baseball, softball, and girls swim will compete at state next week. Good luck to all those competing. Now over to Josh to check out the storms this weekend. That's right, Morgan. There is a chance for storms this weekend, but first we have to get through today. 84 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Clouds are actually going to be gradually increasing over the next several hours. We'll reach our high right around the end of school, but a little bit later on tonight, we expect thunderstorms to develop initially in western Kansas, 
but you can see here by 3 a.m. they're likely to push into central and eastern Kansas. So it could be a loud couple of hours in the wee morning of your Saturday. And I don't expect this to be too strong in our neck of the woods, but just to our west is where they got the better potential for stronger storms. And that's why you can see on the Storm Prediction Center outlook, we are in the general to marginal risk for severe weather. This, though, shifts our way as we head into Saturday. Notice the severe potential focus essentially right over northeast Kansas. And you can see here that's why we have a large enhanced risk swath here. This includes Lawrence, Topeka, Manhattan, and Marysville. Points to the northeast as well. And with this activity, we're looking at the potential for all modes of severe weather. Yes, that includes a slight risk of a tornado, but the better potential is going to be wind and very large hail. We could be talking up to baseball sized hail tomorrow on some of these storms. There is also a low flooding threat tomorrow, so just stay weather aware as we head through your Saturday. This is mainly going to be between 3 p.m. and 10 p.m. tomorrow. Overall risk here are three with damaging winds to 70 miles per hour. Again, very large hail to baseball size possible with the chance of a tornado, but that potential will really be come more clear as we get closer to just so just stay tuned for updates. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that 92 degrees with those severe storms around tomorrow. Sunday isn't looking quite as cool as it was previously, probably 80 degrees and then more active weather for the for the last few days of school. Looks like every one of our final days will have a chance for storms. Today in history, it's National Endangered Species Day and NASCAR Day. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Don't forget to wish all the teams luck at state and regionals.